All right, guys, welcome back. I want to make this quick video talking about protein portion sizes. Now, if you're part of this 21 day challenge, one of our challenges this week is to eat at least 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight in a few days this week. So I want to go over some portion sizes and show you how to actually hit that numbers. For an example, a 200 pound person, you have to take 200 pounds and times it by 0.7. So that would be at least 140 grams of protein every single day. So Let's just say that's an example of what we're trying to hit, 140 grams in a day. So some of the more common protein sources are things like meat. I have some chicken thighs that I prepped here that I just want to show you three ounces of cooked chicken thighs is basically four ounces if you look at it uh, raw because it loses some of the water, so it loses some of its weight. But three ounces of cooked chicken thighs has 22.3 grams of protein. So realistically, if we're looking at 140 grams for the day, divide that by three or four meals, the 22 grams of protein from these chicken thighs doesn't even add up to that average per meal that we need. But I just want to show you what that serving size looked like. And most of the meats, what do you want? Most of the meats that you will make like chicken or turkey or fish they all have around the same protein per ounce as long as it's a pretty lean protein if you're looking into ground beef that's more like 80 percent 80 20 then it's going to be a little bit less protein because it actually has more fat so this is actually if you want to zoom in here this is three ounces of cooked chicken thighs right here which is about one thigh and a half i would say again i smoked these so they reduce down in size a lot all right you can back out and uh, that's that, okay? So that serving right there gets you about 22, 23 grams of protein. So if you're looking to hit 140, you might need to eat a little bit more of that at each meal, okay? So that's the chicken thighs. Second thing I wanted to bring up is I've got some raw steaks here. These are a top sirloin steak, which, uh, steak, which is pretty lean. There are two of these in here. According to the label, which get used to reading labels even on meats, a serving size is four ounces and there are three servings per container. So out of these two steaks makes three servings. One serving has 24 grams of protein. So realistically, if we're looking at a serving or sorry, one steak, which is a serving and a half, it would be 24 plus a half would be another 12. So there's about 36 grams of protein in one of these. Okay. Hopefully I did that math correctly, but uh, one serving is 24 grams. So get familiar with some of the serving sizes. So this, one of eating one of these at a meal would add up closer to what we would need at each meal for protein. Okay, so that has a little bit more. If we look at things like, I wanted to bring up sliced deli meat. We get this stuff, just boar's head. Uh, this is their sliced turkey. We get it for like snacks and different things. But I just wanted to bring up that like one slice, I've got three slices here. One slice is about an ounce. So if we're looking at three slices, that's three ounces of chicken. The problem with this and with like most sandwiches is one, you probably won't even get that many pieces. Do you want some? And that these three ounces of chicken, the way they slice it, according to MyFitnessPal, only has 15 grams of, of protein in it. So you're really going to have to up it even more and get more slices of chicken or more slices of turkey to hit that protein number of that 25 or 30 or 35 or 40 grams of protein per meal. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up for people who enjoy sandwiches and wraps. You really got to pack on those sliced uh, meats and using something like my fitness pal will help you keep track of that. Okay. Next up, what I wanted to bring up is tofu because tofu is a, um, protein source that a lot of vegetarians and vegans use. Uh Oh, we got crying babies all around, but according to tofu, this is an extra firm tofu that I bought. One serving is 85 grams, which is, I filled this already. This is 85 grams of tofu. Any guesses on how much protein that has? Nine grams. That's it. That's nine grams. So if you're looking at getting 30 grams of tofu in a serving, you got to at least triple this amount in your meal, okay? Or add another source, maybe like something else, which is coming up next, which is black beans. Black beans I did not pre-portion, so we're going to do that right now. <clears throat> One serving, you out of here? Where are you going? One serving of these black beans, which is another popular protein source for vegans and vegetarians, is 130 grams, and that's going to get you 8 grams of protein, okay? So not even that many. So let's do this really fast. We got some crying babies. You want to, yeah, <laughs> you can get that really quick. So I'm going to fill this while Lauren helps out Camden there with 130 grams 
of black beans. So, come here, babe. There it is, right there. Bam. 130 grams of black beans right there. That gets you eight grams of protein, okay? So if we're looking at one serving of tofu and one serving of black beans, all of that food, unfortunately, only has 17 grams of protein in it. So you're gonna have to up it, either double the uh, tofu amount or double the black bean amount, but that's a lot of black beans, all right? So that's that. And then finally, I wanted to bring up two of my favorite sources of protein, which is cottage cheese and Greek yogurt, if you're, of course, okay with dairy. One serving of cottage, or sorry, one serving of Greek yogurt is 170 grams. I'm not going to put that out right now. Just think it's a little bit more than the black beans. That will give you 17 grams of protein. Okay, so super rich uh, protein, which is Greek yogurt. Another one of my favorites that I love for smoothies, for bowls, whatever it is, is cottage cheese. A serving of cottage cheese is 113 grams, so a little bit less than the, the uh, serving size of Greek yogurt, and only has 13 grams of protein. But that's still 13 good quality grams of protein right there. So this can be an important part, either Greek yogurt or cottage cheese, of a breakfast, a high protein breakfast that you can do that will help you get to your protein goal for the day. Okay? So main takeaways here make sure you are uh, getting the right portion size in if you don't have a food scale then i encourage you to buy one they're only like 15 bucks on amazon or get used to the palm size serving which is about three ounces so that three ounces is a, the equivalent to about 22 grams of protein as we discovered with the the chicken thighs so that's number one get used to the portion sizes number two read food labels all right, whether it is your ground beef package, whether it is a black bean label, whether it's your tofu, see the serving size and see the amount of protein that comes with it, okay? And lastly, add variety. One thing I didn't bring up is that one egg has just six grams of protein, so if you're someone who likes eggs for breakfast, maybe a couple eggs, maybe some egg whites as well for extra protein, or you do eggs plus cottage cheese or a serving of Greek yogurt to get you that protein amount that you need, all right? I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what questions you have on protein. Uh, but that's that. Let's hit those protein goals this week. And I'll see you for the next video. <laughs>